with you. I always say that. Damn it! I'm not, I'm not restarting. I've, I've done that three times now. I can't get out of the habit. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, you know I usually concentrate on characters if I can to the best of my ability and knowledge. You know, it's obviously there's usually flaws and gaps in there and it doesn't usually make a lot of sense. But I can't be held responsible for the gaps in my mind, okay? It's not my fault. As far as my mind's concerned, I'm right. It's just everybody else knows I'm wrong. Right. These are some Japanese Transformers I'm going to look at. They're quite rare, quite hard to come by, and me trying to give you a character bio of them in one review is impossible. So I'll, I'll break it down, I'll do it as succinctly as I can, so I'll concentrate on the toys. And this is Big Convoy, as opposed to, he's going to be usually called Mammoth Convoy, because he transforms into, yes my friends, a mammoth. But he's still called Convoy. I know it's what the Japanese do, it pays homage to Generation 1 Convoy because he was called Convoy because he went into a truck, of all things. This guy goes into a mammoth. <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about it. Let's look at the toy, shall we? This guy is quite nice, he's quite blocky, but he's poseable at the same time. It's all to do with this mammoth stuff he got on the back here. Now, what I will say, at a point of interest, is he is a git to transform. I gave up 20 minutes trying to remember how to transform this one. I know there's some of you sitting there going, Yeah, well, you didn't do it right. I gave him five seconds. Well, I can't. It took me 20 minutes to work this guy out. Damn, I was getting frustrated. Eventually, I just pulled all the bits off him that come off and then tried to reassemble him in mammoth mode. Well, it worked. You'll see it. After I've finished each look at these toys, I'm going to show you them in their alt modes. There's no way I can attempt it on camera. I'm not suicidal. Um, he comes with a matrix, which is very nice, look, and it neatly fits here, sort of. I say neatly, it fits, that's it. It doesn't neatly do or doesn't, it just fits, and that's all it'll ever do. Nice touch. He's the leader, well, now what is it in? It's in Beast Wars Neo, that's it. And yeah, he is no prizes for guessing who he is. Now the head, you know, I always like to focus on the heads of these guys. I think is a really nice head moulding on here, and his ears fold in. Oh, he looks a bit of a prat if you fold him in, but some people actually prefer it like that. I like him with his ears out, so if you're an ears in or ears out kind of guy, I couldn't comment. Um, this bit comes off the back here. It goes into some sort of, like, shooting launcher thing. I think it looks horrible, actually. I don't want to say what I think it looks like, but it looks horrible. But it doesn't matter, he needs it in mammoth mode. And he has a sort of, like, third mode, it's sort of like a cannon thing. So it's like half mammoth where the head flips up and the cannon comes out forwards. Alright, it's all it's it looks horrible. Okay, I was about to say it's alright, but no it's not really. I don't like it. But without his big backpack thingy on, and if you take a few of these bits off, he's a great toy. Very poseable. I would recommend picking him up. I'm not quite sure the price tag for this one, but the toy is quite good and it's prime and it's got a little bit of transparency here. And I don't usually like to focus on all this crap, you know, going, yeah, this bit's redder than that bit and that bit's a bit creamy and that's a bit blackyish looking. I don't usually like doing that, but on this is a rare exception to that. Yep, get hold of Big Convoy if you can. It's a nice addition to anybody's Transformer collection, especially carrying the name Convoy. Right, that's that one over. Now, I'm going to show you some transformations of them, quickly that one only, and I'll get into the next one. <sighs> Tiring work, that one. Right, one of my favourites, Leo Convoy. This toy is brilliant. Anybody who was thinking about getting in, was slightly sceptical. Scepticism aside, my friends, this toy is brilliant. It's one of my favourite Prime toys, actually. I like... Let's get a, have a quick look at the face here. Now, I love the face on this guy. Now, his mouth moves. Now, I'm not quite sure there's a way to trigger it at the back, but to be honest with you, I don't want to start fiddling around with this guy. But yeah, look at that cat face. It's brilliant. I love it. I think this toy is brilliant. Look, there we go. Reminds me of Aslan out of Narnia. I don't know where that come from now, all of us. Oh, he's a lion, that's where. Sorry. I, I was only acting, by the way. I am really that stupid. Uh, yep, yeah, you can be able to projectile missiles on here, but she doesn't actually work. And I think there's a difference, but I'll get on to the next one in a minute. Uh, the toy itself is lovely and poseable. He has, I think it is, some sort of 
in uh, what was supposed to be his spark chamber from all intents and purposes, and I think this is supposed to be a maximal sign. Can't really tell now, to be honest. Well, the light's not great in here, but let's have a look at the head molding on this guy quick. Yeah, it was very reminiscent to me, personally, of Power Master Prime the head. But, yet again, it's Leo Convoy. But, and we know why they do it, so I won't harp on about it anymore. Um, the transformation in this one is actually quite nice. It's not as fiddly as the other one, not nearly as bad. He's more poseable. I think this guy is brilliant. I uh, actually quite like all aspects of this toy, actually. I, I won't really knock it. I mean... What more do you want? The only thing, if I'm going to be slightly picky and nitpick for a second, is the eyes are just painted yellow. There's no reflection, there's no attempt to give it some sort of, you know, realistic look. Well, I use realistic, you know, <laughs> very loosely, it's a toy. <laughs> but, yeah, I would have expected some more reflection effect. But, hey-ho, it's a great toy. If you can get this one, it's great. And here, it brings me nicely to the second part of this, because you get a two-for-one on this. This is Flash Convoy, and he is Flash Disco Prime, or Disco Convoy, shall I say. Uh, it's great, this toy, actually. His arms come off, there we go. Now, yet again, look. He looks great, this guy. Why does that button not do what I think it should do? Uh, no, he has the same problem as the other one. He doesn't hold the rockets in here. For some reason, I thought he did, but he doesn't appear to. There's a way of getting that to trigger. Unfortunately, my flash convoy is very loose convoy. Uh, yeah, same thing. But they painted the teeth on this one. It's a silver colour. It's great. Same head moulding, but obviously in gold. He is the business, this guy. I mean, you didn't think they could, you know, be on perfection, because I thought the other toy was superb. They did with this one. And you notice they've given him blue eyes as opposed to yellow. And these have a slightly more reflective quality to them, shall I say. And the toy itself is all transparent. It's absolutely lovely. Um, I, I really like this toy, actually. I'm not going to moan about it anymore. All I'll say is if you can find it, look out for it. If you can find it, look out for it. If you're looking out for it, you find it. Yes, I'm on the ball today. Right, let's show this, uh, one of these transforms quickly. And let's get on to the last one. He's not as good as these two guys, but he deserves an honourable mention, I think.